Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us see some important C programming lab viva questions which repeatedly asked by the examiners in the lab. The first one, who is the founder of C language when it is developed? The C language is developed in 1972. Dennis Ritchie is the founder. At Bell Laboratories of AT&T, he developed this C language. What is the use of printf and scanf functions? This is a very important question which is repeatedly asked by the examiner to the students. Printf is generally used for printing the values on the screen. And scanf, as we know, scanf is used to take the input from the user into the program. So printf is to print the values as the name itself says. Scanf is to scan the values means it takes the input from the user. And what is the format specifier? Format specifiers are going to be used in a printf statement where you can see in this example printf a is equal to percentage d slash n then b is equal to percentage d slash n after that we are passing two arguments. Here this percentage d is a format specifier means this percentage d is fetching the value a in terms of decimal or integer value what we say and again the next value b is fetching by this percentage d it is again an integer value so percentage d percentage s percentage c percentage f are the different format specifiers that is specifying the format of the argument which is being printed here next one is what is an array in c generally these questions are repeatedly asked in viva array function what is pointer and all. So array is a group of similar type of elements and it is a continuous memory location we can say. The syntax for the array is a data type and then we are going to write the array name and here we are going to specify the size of that array. And here you can see we have three videos in our C programming playlist. You can go and see the in detail explanation of array and how actually the declaration will be. And the types of array will be the next question if you answer what is an array. One dimensional array and multi dimensional array. So here is an example. Int is a data type. ARR is the name of the array. Phi is specifying the size. So it can be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the values where ARR array will be having. These are the phi integer values. And then what are the basic data types associated with C? This question is very very important for the lab viva is concerned and also some interview also you may get this question on C. Int, float, double, char, void are the basic data types associated in C. And also you can see the different data type names and the size of those data types and the range of the data type values. Short, unsigned short, char, unsigned char, int, unsigned int, long, un, in, unsigned long, float double and long double are the different data types. Basically we have int, float, double, char and void and where signed and unsigned data types are also available out of those. Then what are the general description for loop statements and which are those and how the loops can be useful. This is again an important question. You can see this video in the playlist for the detailed explanation on while, do while, for loop, nested loop, like that. And this is what the general description we can give for the loop statement. It will be having a condition. If the condition is true, we have a set of code segment or set of statements to be executed and then it will check the condition. And the condition is false, it will come out of the loop, we can say. So while loop, for loop, do while loop, nested loop are the important loop statements we have in C. Mention the main components of a computer and their functions. So this is the basic question you may get in lab viva. CPU is the heart of the computer we know. This is used to process the data what we are going to give and it gives the output. So we have input devices to give the data into the computer and output devices to display those values which is processed by the CPU. Then what are algorithms? 
what is an algorithm we are going to write for a program this algorithm is a step by step procedure which defines the set of instructions to be executed in a particular order so then we are going to get a desired output so algorithm gives step by step procedure which defines the set of instructions to be executed and then what is a flow chart flow chart it make use of symbols a rectangle symbols we are going to use that are connected one after the other again it is going to give a flow how actually the program is going to execute what are the conditional statements in c this is again a important question repeatedly asked if statement if else statement nested if else statement and if else if ladder switch statements these are the conditional statements available in c so again conditional statements in the sense your answer should be there is a condition we are going to check within the if statement we can say where here it is specified as a expression and then if it satisfies it will go into the if block and then it is going to be execute the set of instructions or the code what we have if it is not satisfied the condition is not satisfied it will come out of the code segment we can say it will not enter the code segment at all so this is what the conditional statements are we have two more videos for that conditional statements and you can go through those videos for the better understanding and these two are the syntaxes for if and if else i have uh, put it here and nested if if else ladder switch statements uh, syntax also you can uh, you can uh, write while asking while answering the question then what are header files and what are its uses in c programming header files are generally library files you can say say they contain essential things like definitions and prototypes of functions being used in a program suppose if you consider an example like stdio.h it is a header file that contains the definitions and prototypes of commands like printf and scanf in the c program if you are going to use printf and scanf repeatedly to get the information and to print the information so header file stdio.h is responsible for that so generally you are going to write an hash include stdio.h so that indicates the header file which is giving us the functionality printf and scanf so printf and scanf functions are hidden inside this header file so simply put commands that you use in c programming are actually functions that are defined from within the header files that is what printf and scanf functions written within stdio.h file .h indicating it is a header file stdio is a name of that header file when is the void keyword is used in a function when declaring functions you will declare whether the function would return a value or not returning a value if the function is not returning a value such as when purpose of the function is just to display the output of something on a screen void is going to be used and when the function return a value is expected and then we are going to return a value in place of a void void is going to be used when the function is not returning any value and void is not going to be used when the function is returning a value is expected we are going to write that data type of return value what are pointers in c pointers are going to point to the specific area in a memory they are going to point that location of the memory so we are going to use pointers here this pointer contains address of a variable which in turn may contain a value or even an address to another memory so pointers are generally as the name itself says it is going to point to a location what is compilation in c programming this is again an important question compilation is it is a process in c which is transforming a human readable code what we have written or we calling it as a program into a machine readable format that is the main process of compilation so in c programming language it happens before a program start executing means the first step is compilation and then execution here the syntax is going to be checked and the semantics of the code is checked where it is going to convert that into a machine 
readable format machine level code we can say then what is debugging after the compilation if you are going to get an error the debugging is a process of identifying those errors within a program and we are going to correct those errors so during the program compilation error that are found will stop the program from executing completely the program will be interrupted with these errors so at this stage what we are going to do as a programmer would look into the possible portion where error is occurred and debugging ensures that removal of errors means debugging in the sense we are digging into the code where actually the error is occurred so after debugging once the errors are cleared the program will be executed and we can expect the output so these are some of the important questions which may appear in your viva exam in c programming laboratory thank you for watching